everyone. Today I am making man bars. Now with a name like that, you would think that the recipe came straight from one of my vintage cookbooks. In fact, this recipe popped up on my Instagram feed. Sometimes Instagram gets it right and they show me things I actually want to see. <laughs> I've never made these bars before. I've never tasted these bars before. I don't really even have a good idea of where this recipe originates. The recipe I'm using comes from Southern roots, but I've also seen some recipes say that they're, it's an Amish recipe. I don't know how old this recipe is. The name sure sounds old fashioned. These are supposed to be a little bit like seven layer bars or magic cookie bars, but we'll see about that. It doesn't have all of the same ingredients. It has a few similar ingredients. Let's make a sweet treat. One piece of advice that the recipe I'm using gave was to use a stand mixer with a paddle attachment because the mixture is very, very thick. Hopefully my stand mixer is up to the task. In a stand mixer, I'm combining graham cracker crumbs, I'm cutting this recipe in half like I often do, but I will be sure to link the full recipe in the description down below. So this is half a box of crushed graham crackers. Chocolate chips. So that is six ounces. I have half a cup of chopped pecans. Let's go in there. Got a quarter teaspoon of salt, three quarters of a teaspoon of vanilla. And really if I use a little extra, who's gonna, who's gonna mind? And finally, one can of sweetened condensed milk. This is the ingredient that brings it all together. You can see where this is gonna be really thick. So I have my paddle attachment. We're gonna start kind of slow at first. It's not too bad. It's, it's not as thick as I thought it would be. I probably could have done this by hand, maybe, if I'm feeling strong. I am gonna scrape this down and just make sure everything's incorporated. Sometimes it's important to just, just you know, dig in there, make sure that if there's anything, you know, that's dry on the bottom, just make sure you kind of Scrape it up to the top. We're gonna just do one more mix. I am, it's me, I'm doing the mixing. You're all with me in spirit. I have buttered an eight by eight pan and I've lined it with parchment paper. You don't have to do the parchment paper, but it makes, according to the recipe, it makes everything come out a little bit more easily and I believe it. It's a pretty stout mixture. It's pretty heavy. Yeah, spreading these is gonna be the hard part, I think. Pressing this out with a spatula seems to be the way to go here. Make sure you get it into those corners. And that's what we have. It's not going anywhere. Now I have to bake this for 30 minutes at 350 degrees. After that, I'm supposed to let it cool completely, cut this into bars, and then roll them in powdered sugar. I'll see you in a little while. These are pretty much completely cool. Maybe a little bit warm. Highly recommend using some parchment paper to get these out. If I didn't have this, I'm pretty sure they would be stuck to the pan. Sweetened condensed milk is no joke. It is kind of like glue when you're baking with it. It's time to cut them. And once I cut them into squares, I'm supposed to roll them in some powdered sugar. They smelled amazing. Of course they smelled amazing. While they were baking, it's a combination of some delicious ingredients. So that's kind of what I expected. Do I want to use my ruler? Kind of, I kind of do. I just, I love these gridded rulers. I'll link this in the description down below. I use these for all kinds of things. I use them in the kitchen, but I also use them for sewing. Very handy tool to have. Of course, these bake up at a little bit of a weird size. Oh, a little soft in the middle. Definitely a little softer than I expected. I think, I mean, I'm pretty sure they're done. I think this is just how they're supposed to be. Very sticky. Very sticky. Mm, it looked like they cut them into squares. So I think that's what I'm gonna do too. Pretty small squares at that. And that's probably a good idea because I think these are gonna be super sweet. They're, they're like very set on the top. They're not like sticky on the top. So I wonder how well the powdered sugar is gonna stick to that part. Oh heck, these look amazing. So just to kind of give you a cross section, that's what it looks like. It has the feel of like a chocolate chip oatmeal cookie. I know that's not what it is, but that's just kind of like the appearance and the heft of it. I think I'm gonna just do kind of an assembly line. This one looks like a scone, but you can kind of see that was the corner piece. We'll do a square one so it looks nice. It's, the powdered sugar is not like sticking super well to the top. I think these look a little bit less sugared than the ones that I saw in the photo, but that's okay because they're already going to be really sweet. I'm dying to try these. Like I kind of want to bite into one now, but let me get through the whole pan and then we'll give them a taste. Does anybody else sample the ugly cookies or the ugly like cakes or bars? Like that's, I saved like the ugly ones for myself. <laughs> And I always like give away the pretty ones or, you know, save those for someone else. Doesn't matter to me, they all taste the same. None of you are ugly. 
you're beautiful. Don't wanna ruin their self-esteem. I, I'm not using nearly as much powdered sugar as it says in the recipe, so your mileage may vary. Oh, these are extra gooey. Wow, this is gonna be good. These are the thumbnail. These are the thumbnail cookies. <laughs> Just tried to wipe the counter and I shook more powdered sugar <laughs> on it. All right, so there we are. I have a feeling these are gonna be a little bit messy to eat. Maybe when I eat these over a plate or over the sink or something, I don't know that I would hand these out at a party and just have powdered sugar everywhere. I am gonna go for a corner piece and give this a try. Oh my Lord. Yeah, okay, we're gonna, I'm just gonna have to clean this up after. Hmm. I'm sure I have powdered sugar all over my face. One moment. These are really delicious. They don't remind me of seven layer bars really, other than the fact that they have sweetened condensed milk in them. The texture is like this just really lovely chew, more so than seven layer bars. They remind me a little bit of Carmelita's. I think I have a recipe for those and I will link it down below. That's another cookie bar that I absolutely love, but these are really tasty. They're a little bit different. I've never had anything quite like it. Mmm. Really good. Kind of rich, but like somehow not quite as sweet as I was expecting. I would advise cutting these into the like small bars. I wouldn't go too big with the bars. This was a super easy recipe. The thing that took the longest was letting them cool, really. Very easy, very delicious. I still don't know why they call them man bars though. <laughs> if anybody knows, please let me know in the comments down below. So much powdered sugar everywhere though. If you happen to love vintage desserts, I have an entire playlist and I will link it in the description down below. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel by clicking on the red button below. I post videos about food, vintage cookbooks, and retro recipes every single week. Thanks again, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.